Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of AirShaper. In this video, we will tackle one of humankind's biggest problems, the sweating caused by wearing a backpack. Now first, a short biology slash physics lesson. Why do we sweat when we exercise? Well, we like to keep our body temperature constant, but when you're doing sports, it increases. And to counter that, we sweat. Because the sweat evaporates into the surrounding air and the energy needed to evaporate is drawn in part from your body, cooling it down. So what if we block this air? Well, then the sweat piles up underneath the backpack and you need to sweat even more in other places to get the required cooling. This leaves commuters with a soaked back and athletes with decreased performance because they just cannot get the required cooling. So Vaude, a German manufacturer of sports equipment, increased the technology level on their latest backpack design to find a solution for this. In a first step, they ran several air shaper simulations on a digital mountain biker without a backpack, simply to understand the way the air flows around the body and to find sources for cooling. For example, they saw that the air that goes around the neck and the shoulders rejoins at the higher part of the back to then channel down at relatively high speed before letting go somewhere lower down the back. At some point, the air going around the sides of the torso was also considered to help drive air underneath the backpack. But with this air being too turbulent and the backpack hidden too much in the wake behind the rider's back, this turned out to be less efficient. So together, we figured it would be quite nice to use the central airstream behind the neck and the shoulders to help cool down the rider's back at the location where it matters most the central part of the lower back. Multiple concepts were thought of, all with the aim to capture this airstream and channel it down between the rider's back and the backpack itself. Aerodynamically optimized channels were carved out of the padding between the rider and the backpack, and after numerous iterations via simulation, we ended up with a design that outperforms anything that is currently out there in the market. And that's not just us talking. Vaude, performed multiple wind tunnel tests at the Sportstech Research Center in Sweden, with riders performing at controlled conditions, like the seating position, the temperature, the wind speed, the produced power, and so on. They were equipped with multiple sensors, measuring temperature and humidity, allowing Vaude and the people at the Institute to measure its performance and benchmark it versus other concepts. And they came to the happy conclusion that the new one is best in class. So next time you cycle to work or downhill with the gear on your back, don't sweat it, Vaude has your back. So that was it for yet another video on aerodynamics in sports. If you liked it, please click the like button and feel free to leave any comments below to start a discussion. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.